What's going on, Loot Crate? It's a top five show. I'm Christian. I am Mark and Christian. Boom, not, boom. not this oh. weekend, but next weekend. Is it <laughs> yeah, we get to see another Fast and Furious movie. That one is called Fate of the Furious. We're getting very excited about it. So we're going to rank our top five Fast and Furious movies. Who would have thought a couple years ago that anybody would want to do a list like this? And then Fast Five came out and it's it a fun turned franchise. the series around. It's become a fun franchise and mm -hmm. they did something different a lot of franchises can't do is that they switched it on you. Have they started as a, we'll talk about how they started in just a minute, but they started very different to where they are today. Mm -hmm. So here we go, here are the top five fast movies in our opinions. Mark, what's number five? Number five is number four, Christian. This is a movie that is called Fast and Furious. They shortened it. This is after Tokyo Drift, which I, I don't think really captured the essence of what they were going for, although it was a fun backstory to what we get now, or like it's a prequel, as it were, this was a for the original one. Yeah, this, no, no, that, was, was, that was Tokyo Drift. Right. And then you get this one, which kind of brought us back to a setup for where we can, from here, we can win. Yeah, it's, this, this was when people started, this could have been the death of the whole franchise. And mm -hmm. people don't give enough credit to this movie because when you went and saw this film, you're like, a oh, fourth one? Put this thing to bed already. Who's paying to see these? At the fourth movie, you're like, enough is enough already. And then when you see the movie, you start to see where they are today in that movie. There's elements of like the first three in this movie, but then they're starting to transition into what we know today in the fourth film. Well, what we know today is that Fate of the Furious is coming off the heels of part seven, which is our number four movie. And Christian, this is the one that you had the tragic passing of Paul Walker during the filming of this movie. They were able to complete it with help of some CGI and his brothers in real life. They also drive a building through one, they drive a car through one building into another building, then out that building and then they land. And you got Statham. You know, Statham is, 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 is a great fight with The Rock in the beginning, and we're still at a bit of ridiculousness. And this is where the, the, the franchise had gone over to it. Just, it's a superhero, nothing's real, have fun with it. This is where we're, we've evolved all the way through to we get this point. Kurt Russell as well. Kurt Russell, and you have a lot of fun cast, but I think that you're right. It's, the, the thing that everyone was talking about was Paul Walker and the way that I think that mm -hmm. they handled it classly. Right. Classly? Classy. Classily. Classily. Yeah. Um, and James Wan directed this one. It was very different from what Justin Lin had done before. So it was it was a good move, but I, not, not in the top two. Well, coming in at number three is going to be the original, the one that started it all, The Fast and the Furious, where you live your life a quarter mile at a time. Vin Diesel's a tough guy. Paul Walker's a cop on his case. And by the end of the movie, they're family and having Coronas together. I think that's how it worked out. Yeah, it was a point break ripoff for sure. And I mean, it was. Everything's a point break ripoff. This rip -off. was a point break ripoff for sure. But it without this movie, without people actually caring this movie was 2000 I think um, without movie people actually caring for this movie at all and these characters you don't get the billion dollar franchise that it is now who would have thought that when this movie came out though that you would turn it into what it is today. And it helped elevate the careers of both Paul Walker and Vin Diesel so sure. much to the point, especially for Vin Diesel, where he's like, I'm just going to go be an action star before he was like, uh, I probably should probably come back to this franchise because my career, I did a, I did the Pacifier, right. I did some other thing. I could use some more car movies. And he certainly got that with part six, which is our number two movie. Yeah, part six, you know, after they hit what we're going to talk about in just a second here, um, this movie, you knew where you're going. This is now a an over-the-top action film. The Rock is in this movie also, once again. And you see what Vin Diesel has really transformed himself in this mm -hmm. movie. And the way that they all work together and the missions that they go on together, it, 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 is, it was a great way. The, the plane scene with Luke Evans and everything too, introducing the very end. I thought of this movie the way that they kind of connected the prequel. You, you saw actually the five and six were essentially prequels to Tokyo Drift. Right, and so what you see well, I think Tokyo Drift was a prequel to. No, no you're right. The other one was a right. prequel to Tokyo Drift. Yeah. So if like, let's say you're like a hardcore comic book movie fan, right? And then let's say I just hit you in the head with a hammer really hard yeah. and give you a Monster Energy drink. That's what we get with these movies because they like to continue what happened in the previous one. We saw that with the post credit scene in Part Six when we got to see um, uh, Jason Statham, and we saw that in the post credit scene of Five when we got introduced to Michelle Rodriguez's character possibly having amnesia. She's not really dead. She just gets oh. Okay. My God, what's going on? Which one's Gina Carano in? Uh, she is in six. She's in six. Yeah, and but now we're now, talking about five. The best one. Five is the best That's one. That's our number one. It's hands down the best one because this was where, like we said with number four, as to where you're like, okay, they're still going with this. I'm be interested in the fifth one. Okay, and then when they hit the fifth one, it's like, oh, we're changing this whole thing on you. We want you to look at this franchise completely different to where we're going to drag a safe 
on these other cars with the camaraderie with all these whether it's ludicrous or, or, or tyrese whoever mm -hmm. it is they're all going to work together and you're going to believe and you're going to eat it all up because we're just giving you stupid ridiculous fun enjoy it it is the definition of a popcorn film. That's, That's right, amazing. but it also, it, it had cool elements of heist movies and action yeah. movies. Whereas the first The Fast and the Furious was like a racing kind of crime drama, they got away from that because people weren't taking it seriously, but we love fun, dumb action movies. That's what we get with these now. And with Fate of the Furious, it was like more of the same certainly dumb from the trailers, and we hope we have a lot of fun too in a couple weeks. It's all about family. <laughs> That's pretty good. Thanks, I tried. Yeah. Uh, there's no real honorable mentions. No. I mean, you can go see Tokyo Drift ones. if you want. Yeah. Too Fast, Too Furious. They're good. You guys should subscribe right here to Loot Crate's channel. And while you're in the subscribing on YouTube mood, check out our channel. Schmoes know that's Christian. I am Mark. Do you think Fate of the Furious is going to be in the top five Fast and Furious movies of all time? I don't know. I think that it, it could be. I haven't liked the trailers very much, but... When I, The Rock is actually handling a torpedo. I, you know, I skipped that one. I skipped that last trailer. I know. Treat yourself. I don't know. I don't know. I might, I, we'll see. What's up, Loot Crate? Hey, you see all these other things here? You make sure you subscribe to Loot Crate right over there. There's our channel, and there's other things right over there. You like that, Mark? I, I, I do, Christian.